Bienvenidos and welcome my not so modest amigos. My name is Crossfight and today we're going to be looking at how to toggle clothing on and off using Unity and your tracking software of choice. In this case it's going to be VC Face for me, but it works with anything that will allow you to customize expressions or set them to a hotkey. I am just going to be covering clothing today, but you can use this for literally any material on your model, so just keep that in mind if you want to get a little more advanced with this. With that said, we're going to go ahead and get started. So first thing we're going to do is open up Unity, and you need to have Unity 2019.4 to have this functionality, and any version of 2019.4 will work for you. I'm going to go ahead and just create a new project here, give it a name, and we will create it. Once it's open, go ahead up to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and we're going to find our Uni VRM package. As always, the links for all this stuff is in the description of the video if you can't find it. Go ahead and hit All and hit Import. And once that is all set up, you'll have a new button at the top that says VRM up there. We're going to go ahead and choose Import from that VRM dropdown. We're going to go find a VRM file to bring in. So. I'm just going to go ahead and find um, just one of my own models real quick and bring that in. We're going to save the prefab and once that's loaded you can just grab it from the bottom there, drag and drop it over on the left side and it'll appear in our scene. I like to zoom in just to make sure I've got the right model of my choosing. And once we do that we're going to go down to materials and just look and find the material that we want. In this instance I want my hoodie so I'm going to make sure I find the one that says cloth tops in the name and once I do that. I'm going to go ahead and look over here on the texture side here and you can see this white box that says lit color alpha. Open that up and you're going to get a color wheel here and what we're actually looking at today is the alpha transparency. So we're not looking at the RGB colors, we're actually looking at this bottom slider and as you see as I move it left and right the hoodie is disappearing and reappearing. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. By default, I do want that hoodie to be on and I want to set a toggle to turn it off. So I'm going to go find the blend shape that says blendshape.asset and I'm going to create a brand new blend shape. Name it whatever is appropriate for you. I think I'll just go ahead and name it Hoodie Off for this instance. And I'll save that. And once I have that set, we're going to go down to the bottom here and we're going to configure this. We're going to go to Material List in this instance. And we're going to add the little plus sign here to give a new item, which we want to find our top cloth. So scroll down to find that. And then once again, we are going to be adjusting the color. So that is going to be the next drop down and the first item in that drop down. Again, we're looking at that alpha layer. We don't care about the RGB stuff so much. But if you do want to mess with colors, you do have that functionality here. Today, uh, we're going to mess with the, the alpha once again, the transparency. And as you can see down here in this little preview window, as I'm sliding this back and forth, same thing. You can see that the hoodie is disappearing and reappearing, which is exactly what we want. So in this instance, we want it to be off. We want it to be disappeared. So we're going to leave that off, leave the alpha at zero, and that's all there is to it. We're done. So we're going to go ahead up to VRM. We're going to export this time. And I like to set my language to English. Make sure all your information is filled out appropriately and hit export. For today, I'll just go ahead and throw that up on the desktop just so we can easily access that. And you may have noticed that my model here actually does have a black undershirt. Um, I will also show you what that looks like without that undershirt. Uh, I have that on for clipping purposes for any parts of my body that would actually clip through the hoodie depending on what functionality I'm doing or what poses I'm doing. But I'm going to go ahead and load up this avatar that we just made the adjustments to. You can see it's functional. We're going to go up to settings. We're in expression settings and down at the bottom you can see hoodie off. I'm going to set a hotkey. If you're using a different software besides VC face, your assignments may be different. Um, mine is also set to toggle. Just want to make a note of that. You can also set it to hold. But as you can see, I set it to the seven key. When I press that seven key, the hoodie toggles on and off as we need it to. So. That's really all there is for that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just load up another one that I've already had that doesn't have that black undershirt. So you can kind of see in a practical situation. So there you go. Um, without that black undershirt, just got this fishnets and you can see the tattoos. So this is more um, of a realistic, more appropriate situation that you would probably want this. So if you have an undershirt of some kind that you want to show off, that'll work out for you. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya!